so hello everyone so today in this video i will go, i am going to discuss with you the second part which is a continuation of my first video on pericyclic reaction so pericyclic reaction the important part as i have already told it there are basically four kind of pericyclic reaction that are important first one that is cycloaddition as the name implies itself that there will be addition and it will give a something cyclic product then there is electrocyclic reaction electrocyclic and third is sigma tropic and fourth but not so important is the chilotropic reaction so these are the four basic important reaction that i have you have to understand properly to understand the pericyclic reaction so today's video i am going to discuss with you cycloaddition the cycloaddition reaction how the symmetry of the p orbital or the i mean molecular orbital pi molecular orbital controls the reaction that's the topic that i am going to discuss with you let's see i am going to take an example typical example of cycloaddition of ethylene moiety it's pretty easy before i show the symmetry uh, of the pi molecular orbital and how they are involved in the reaction i will draw the just the product and it's trivial to draw just uh, move the arrows you will get the product this sigma bond was as it is one sigma bond is formed and here also thus it gives us a cyclobutene so the point is how when when the reaction is allowed or not this is a question before i go to that i would like to say this is a 2 pi electron system and this is also 2 pi electron system that's why it is termed as 2 plus 2 cycloaddition if my system has a system that is 1 3 butadiene with an alkene simple ethylene then it will be termed as this is a 4 pi electron system this is a 2 pi electron system it will be called as 4 pi 4 plus 2 cycloaddition now let's see what about the 2 plus 2 cycloaddition so in this pericyclic reaction there are two types of reaction uh, condition i can say one is in thermal condition denoted by this delta and another is photochemical condition so i am coming coming to this uh, photochemical condition little bit later before that i would like to see what happened in the thermal condition so what you need to know is the homo and lumo of this two uh, ethylene system that is the important part so i will draw this homo and lumo here there is only two electron in a ethylene moiety so this will occupy here and it will be called homo and this will be called as lumo so let me draw it was a shy one and it will be my shy two with no nodal plane here and with a one nodal plane here till now it's okay now let's see the uh, criteria to form a molecule i mean to undergo cycloaddition there are two uh, reactants are involved one of them is called diene diene and another is called dienophile okay so in this case it doesn't matter if i choose uh, is um, it as a diene or it as a diene it doesn't matter because both are same but in case of uh, say one three butadiene and ethylene it will be uh, one of them will be called diene and there will be dienophile okay so it's a trivial case since so i can take it uh, one of the ethylene as diene and another is dienophile okay the condition is that my diene is homo what i'm saying my diene diene is homo and dienophiles dienophiles lumo we have to take to get the product what i am saying it is the homo of the diene and it is lumo of the dienophile that overlap with each other to form my product okay it's easy now let's take my homo and lumo of the diene and dienophile so let's draw it first i am taking homo so this is my homo okay it's easy and i am taking dienophiles lumo with one nodal plane as you know 
so i have taken one of the sorry one styles homo and another plumo it's easy now there are some terms involved to interpret the reactions here so the term is that you have to understand what do you mean by supra and what do you mean by antra that's the important part so i am in introducing two terms one is supra one is antra supra means you can easily understand from s that is same phase same phase of the pi orbital or you can say of course these are same if my pi system reacts on the upper phase in this case so it will be called supra both if both react with the same phase it is called supra and if i take uh, opposite phases which react let's say my uh, it uh, reacts with this phase and it it reacts with this upper uh, lower phase so then it will be termed as antra let me uh, clear it once again if it is the same phase of the pi molecular orbital it will be called supra if it is the opposite phases of the pi molecular orbital it will be called antra so let's see what are the condition for a reaction to be allowed okay so let's say supra supra what i am saying supra supra is my first what i want to show so what supra means same phase so i am taking my dienes it homo and this is plumo okay so i am taking its supra that is same phase i would also like to take supra my i mean same same side so i want to show that is supra supra case is giving us a bonding condition or anti bonding condition is it going to form a bond or not that's a, our target so i am taking both diene and dienes same phase of the pi molecular orbital now let's see there is a bonding case because they are overlapping with the same phases so that's why it will be called b bonding what about this case if i take both supra supra so it is giving us anti bonding condition that's why it is not going to give us a product because it is symmetry forbidden to form a molecular orbital sorry to form a bond to form a bond it has to be symmetry allowed but in this case one of the if i taking i am taking supra supra condition it's giving us a bonding condition whereas it is given anti bonding that's why it's symmetry forbidden so it will not give the product so now what i have discussed supra supra now let me show the other case what can be the other case for example let me take this as again supra that is it will react with the same phase these two phases same now i will take its antra what do i mean by antra it will react with the opposite side for example if i react with this side then the this pi orbital will react this side so in the supra antra cases this is give us a bonding condition whereas it is also giving us a bonding condition so since both of them are overlapping with the same phases so this is giving us a two bonding condition so this will give us a product so supra antra is a bonding condition so it will give product now you can may ask why not this supra and this antra let's see if i take this is the opposite cases that is now i am going to take this supra that is the same phase of this uh, pi molecular orbital whereas i will go take antra that is opposite phases of this pi molecular orbital so now let's see what happened i am taking supra so same phase will react this is a bonding so this is our bonding whereas it is supra so this orbital and its antra so it will be react with this side it also give is same phase so it is also bonding so it doesn't matter if you take supra antra or antra supra both giving us a same symmetry allowed reaction that is antra supra is also allowed in thermal condition let's take the another case antra antra so i will just remove this what i am saying both antra that is it's two opposite and it's two opposite side will react let's take this case it's opposite means it will react like this 
not react i mean i want to show that uh, overlap and i am taking this antenna so that's why i will take this one and it is also antenna that's why opposite i will take this one so what is the case here this is give us though is a bonding condition but it is a anti bonding condition because of opposite phases whereas it is bonding condition so this is also a symmetry forbidden symmetry forbidden then means that it will not give us a cyclobutyl product so what i see sorry antera antera is also forbidden supra supra forbidden supra antera and antera supra is a allowed case so let me uh, recap again i have taken two ethylene molecule it's undergoing in thermal condition what is my homo and lumo i have already shown and i have shown what is the symmetry allowed reaction supra supra is symmetry forbidden supra antera is allowed antera supra is allowed and antera sorry this will be antera 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 is also symmetry forbidden so this is about thermal condition before i go to the uh, photochemical condition i would like to say one point since though it is allowed so it is symmetry allowed but since this is difficult geometrically because if i take supra antera that is i am taking supra same phase whereas its opposite phase like this so it's supra and it's antera okay so this is though symmetric allowed but it's geometrically impossible to uh, form a bond like this it will have a higher energy transition state that's why though it's symmetry allowed it's not going to give us the product so it is a uh, you will find it in book that uh, thermal condition 2 plus 2 is not allowed it will not give us product so what i am saying in thermal condition 2 plus 2 will not give us the product now let's come to the photochemical condition so what happen in photochemical condition i have already told in my previous video that in photochemical condition the homo and lumo is uh, different how for example if i take uh, irradiate my ethylene molecule with h nu one of the pi electron will get excited to here so now this is my homo now it will be in photochemical condition it will be my homo okay so i will just draw the homo be careful i am in now photochemical condition this is my homo okay and i will take another uh, that is it doesn't matter now di in dienophile it's a no i can i can't differentiate right now so i am taking lumo of the another uh, system that's why it is also so this is my lumo okay now i will again discuss each point separately supra supra antera supra supra antera 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 four condition okay let's see which are allowed and which are symmetry forbidden so first as usual i am going to take supra supra okay so same phase it will overlap with the same phase and it also so this will give us a bonding and this is also give us a bonding so it is allowed so in photochemical condition the reaction is supra supra and both giving us a bonding condition so it is allowed it's a important part you have to remember this let's take supra antera okay what i'm saying supra antera i'm taking this pi molecular of the supra and it i will take its antera so i have already told it's supra that is same phase and its antera opposite so these are given bonding condition it's supra that means this low its antera that is opposite this that's why it's anti bonding so you see it's just a reverse condition bonding anti bonding so it will that is it is symmetry forbidden supra antera is symmetry forbidden cross now uh, takes the just opposite way i will take its supra and its antera what do you mean by supra same its antera opposite so i am drawing just like this bonding and its opposite uh, i mean sorry its supra and its antera so this one and this one 
So this is a bonding, this is the anti-bonding. So this is all again, that is Antara Supra is also symmetry forbidden. Now let's take the Antara Antara case. That is uh, both uh, opposite phases. So Antara Antara. It will react, let's say, sorry. For example, if I want to take this, no problem, bonding case, it's antera and it's also antera, so it's opposite, it, this one, it's opposite, this one, so this is also bonding, so antera antera is symmetry allowed, as I have already told, if it is symmetry allowed, it doesn't mean that it will go, though antera antera supra supra is uh, symmetry allowed reaction and uh, let me give an example you are allowed to jump from a 10th uh, ten floor but you wouldn't do that so it is also symmetry allowed but it won't go right right uh, like this so the supra supra is the condition that will give us the products so it is geometrically feasible as well as symmetry allowed so in 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction the basic criteria to form uh, Symmetry allowed and energetically allowed is the condition is that it has to be photochemically and it is supra supra. So this is the case of 2 plus 2 cycle addition which condition I mean symmetry allowed as well as energetically allowed is the condition 2 plus 2 H nu supra supra. Generally it is described as pi 2 supra plus pi 2 supra is the allowed condition in presence of heat to give us the corresponding product. So this is this was all about the 2 plus 2 cycloaddition. Now let me take one case of 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. So it will be little easy for you again. So let me take an example from 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction. So the name you can easily uh, have a system my 1,3-butadiene and this ethylene. So 4 and 2. Okay, it's easy. So now we can differentiate which will be diene and dienophile. So this system is called diene and it is dienophile. Now here comes the one important point. It is always the homo of the diene and lumo of the dienophile. You have to take. You may ask a question why? Why not the other way around? Why can't I take the lumo of the diene and homo of the dienophile? The basis of molecular orbital formation lies in the fact that the energy matching. The criteria is that EOS, energy, overlap and symmetry. So basically for uh, bonding you have to match the energy as well as orbital overlap and symmetry. So as the homo-lumo gap decreases there will be more bonding and it will give you the product. So if I take the homo and lum, uh, homo of the diene and lumo of the dienophile, it's giving us a lower energy gap. Whereas, if I take the other way around, if I take the lumo of the diene, homo of the dienophile, the gap corresponding homo-lumo will be higher. You may ask the question, why, how I get this? This is uh, coming from quantum mechanics, pi molecular orbital, buccal approximation and the other thing. So, if I take homo of the diene, the energy is lower. If I take the other way around, that is lumo of the diene and homo of the dienophile, the energy gap will be much larger. That's why it's not the case. The case is homo of the diene, lumo of the dienophile. Now take the symmetry case. What I want is the homo of the diene. So what I want is the diene and diene homo. So it's a four carbon system. My homo will be chi two. Okay. So let me draw the four pi. Uh, P orbital, chi 2, it will have a uh, C2 symmetry, this is will be anti-bonding and this is bonding. So this is my homo of the diene. Let me draw in it in a different fashion, little bit, doesn't matter. And what I want is the lumo of the dienophile. So it's a trivial with one nodal plane. 
So this is my homo of the dying and this is my lumo of the dinophile. Okay. Now let's see what happened. So there are you have to go uh, each and every step that is supra supra antera supra uh, or antera supra supra antera and antera antera. Okay. I uh, missed one point that is I am uh, in this case I am uh, treating it as a thermal condition. That's why homo is shy to and uh, lumo here of the dinophile is also shy to. If I take the photochemical condition it will be different. So let's just stick to the plan thermal condition. So I am going to take only the supra supra condition and the other condition you can do it by yourself just follow the system I have, as I have already shown. So let's see supra supra means both same place. So this supra and sorry I am taking its supra and its supra also so both giving us a bonding it's also same place it's also same place that is bonding so it's in the first step i have shown that in thermal condition 4 plus 2 cyclo addition supra supra is the symmetry allowed that's why it's the it's the case that 4 plus 2 undergo in thermal condition supra supra to give the corresponding product i i didn't draw the product let's see what happened move the just arrows you will get the product it's very easy Okay, so this will be the product. So, if you consider the other cases, that is supra antera, you will get symmetry forbidden. If you take the antera supra, you also get forbidden. If you take antera antera, it's allowed, but geometrically not feasible. That's why supra supra condition is you will get the product. Now, I'm going to take just the photochemical condition to show that it is forbidden. If I take uh, photochemical condition this was thermal my homo will be psi 3 of the diene so what you have to do is just the and lumo of the dinophile as it is so this is my lumo it will be psi 3 that it will have sigma symmetry Me draw it like this anti bonding this is bonding this is anti bonding so in presence of uh, light what happened that I want to show is that now if you take supra supra condition so it is give us a bonding condition but it is given as an anti bonding condition that's why in presence of photo uh, photochemical condition the supra supra is symmetry forbidden so that's why this doesn't work whereas in thermal condition this works if you take the other cases you will get antera supra is allowed uh, supra antera allowed but these are not geometrically feasible so uh, that's not the way the reaction will go so ultimately what is the summary the summary is that let me write it here very carefully if you have a system 4 plus 2 cyclo addition in thermal condition it is allowed by supra supra whereas 4 plus 2 h nu is not allowed supra supra why i am considering only supra supra because this is the allowed both symmetry, uh, symmetry case and also energetically so that's why 4 plus 2 thermal is allowed supra supra and 4 plus 2 h nu is not allowed by supra supra whereas if i take 2 plus 2 system it is thermally supra supra is not allowed whereas 2 plus 2 system h nu supra supra is allowed case that's why 2 plus 2 h nu is allowed supra supra 4 plus 2 thermal is allowed by supra supra condition so these are the four point that you just if you do some little practice whatever the system if you just draw the molecular orbital homo and lumo you will definitely get the correct option you can't miss that point okay so i think uh, this is enough for the for enough uh, for the basic of cycloaddition reaction how these things works the symmetric part so in my next videos what i'm going to discuss with you about the rigid selectivity and some basic questions that have been asked in csr gate net whatever exam uh, exam you took so that's the point you have i have done uh, already the basics so the upcoming videos will be on the questions thank you for